The world is going digital, and now there's talk of central banks issuing digital currencies as well. David Erfley from JuniorMinerJunkie.com is here to talk about this trend. David, why do you think the ECB, one of the largest central banks in the world, is now talking about issuing a digital euro? Well, uh, basically, um, uh, Jerome Powell, the head of the Federal Reserve, came out this Monday. On a, he was at a, a, a conference at the IMF where they were discussing digital currencies. And he told us that 80% of major central banks are discussing some sort of digital currency. Um, we've already seen China do it. They rolled it out in four different cities in August while the gold price was screaming over $2,000 an ounce. They rolled their currency out in four major cities. And they're also um, going to use it at the Beijing Olympics in 2022. So basically the ECB also um, a couple of weeks ago put out a comprehensive 55 page report discussing the pros and cons about uh, issuing a digital currency, but they didn't touch on what I believe the real reasons are of them issuing a digital currency. You see, when the EC, when, when the ECB rolled out the euro a little over 20 years ago, they did not consolidate all the debt of the, of the 19 different countries that were, that were going to be on that currency. So now, they're basically forced to because there's they realize there's no possible way that the governments of these major economies can, can continue to borrow at these ridiculously low levels of interest rates. But the greater problem is that all the past debt cannot be continually rolled over because there's no buyers. So um, it's really going to be interesting how they try to do this because the, the infrastructure just is not there. I mean, everybody needs to have a smartphone. Everybody needs to have a bank account. Um, so it's, it's just going to really be interesting how they're going to do this. It sounds to me, I'm just reading the statement on their webpage, it sounds to me like they're doing this in partial response to the pandemic this year. I'm just going to read their statement here. What are the benefits of a digital euro? And it says it would help cushion the impact of extreme events such as natural disasters or pandemics when traditional payment services may no longer function. I don't understand how that how that would why would a pandemic necessitate digital currencies? Yeah, great question. I, I I don't know either. That's beyond my pay grade as well. But I just know that the, the financial situation that that they find themselves in, as far as the debt is concerned, leaves them no choice. Right. The other the other um, part of the statement I'm going to read that too is uh, it could also be crucial if people were to turn to foreign digital means of payment, which might undermine financial stability and monetary sovereignty in the euro area. That that sounds to me like. They're concerned about the rise of cryptocurrencies and the government's inability to track uh, crypto flows. And so now they're introducing an alternative means of digital payment that could be tracked. Do you agree? Sure, absolutely. I mean, um, look what happened when the when the when the um, when the uh, Bitcoin went from one thousand dollars to twenty thousand dollars in a year. I mean, that was basically um, necessitated by the by the Chinese people using Bitcoin to get money out of the country. So um, this is why, you know, the Chinese saw this as an opportunity to, to, to issue their own digital currency, then make, then probably make uh, Bitcoin illegal to use. I mean, uh, that's, that's where I see the problem with Bitcoin. You know, once these governments do this, they don't want to have competition for Bitcoin or other digital currencies. Is this a threat in any way to gold investors and owners of gold? Oh, that's that's a great question. I mean, I I don't see it as a threat, um, in in the you know, uh, but I see it as, as being bullish because I mean, if if you're if you're going to a digital currency and um, you want to have something real instead of having something digital, you're going to buy gold because gold. I mean, gold's been money for five thousand years. So I mean, um, and, and and in some countries it is money, like India, it's basically money. So. Um, I don't see it as a major threat to gold, no. What about the uh, possibility of confiscating gold or making holdings of gold illegal? Could they do that? Could the government in the euro area do that? Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see that. But I mean, I mean Europe, most European, uh, uh, high, high net worth European citizens own their gold in a Swiss bank account, um, in a Swiss bank. So, um, you, know, you know, of course, Roosevelt did this to the U.S. in 1934, 
had everybody turn in their gold at twenty dollars an ounce. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what the percentage of people that actually did it. But then, then as, then as, as soon as he did it, he turned around and and revalued it at thirty five dollars an ounce. So um, I see that as a possibility. But uh, like I said, I mean, I don't see how they're going to do this in the near term. Um, they're, they're, I mean, they're obviously serious about it, but how they're going to do it in the near term without the infrastructure is going to be is going to be interesting to see. Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to my elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, those are the men that taught me the truth of the Bible through the Holy Spirit, and Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Rakak, Wadash, Baka to the 144,000 servants of Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, and the remaining elect of the nation of Israel. Now today's date is Monday, October 26, 2020, the year of prophecy as coined by Apostle Tahar of Great Millstone, pursuant to the book of Revelation 19 verse 10, where the angel visited our forefather, the Apostle John on the Isle of Patmos, you know, on the behalf of Yahweh Bashma Shai, showing him visions and things that were going to take place in the latter days, right, the latter days meaning the end of days, the end of Esau's rulership here on the earth. Esau being the so-called white man, the Edomites, who are ruling this world in wickedness right now, beginning with the wicked elite. And he said unto him, Worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. And that's the time that we're living in right now, where the end of days prophecies are speaking loud and clear. Okay, And one of the main prophecies that we're looking out for is the prophecy... As we bring out week in, week out, almost day in, day out, the prophecy of the mark of the beast, Revelation 13 and 16, whereby it says, And he calls it for both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Now the he that's being spoken about in this scripture is speaking about the banking elite of Esau, Edom, right? These various different central banking families out there in Europe, beginning with the Rothschild family, the head family of these Edomites, whereby they're trying to bring about a new world order, not even trying to, they're actually doing it as we speak, okay? And right now, um, that new world order is being promoted as the fourth industrial revolution you can look that up and it's also being pushed as the global reset okay it says and he calls it all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark and that's what they want to do they want everyone on the world to receive their mark which is a physical mark which is going to come in the form of an implantable microchip okay out here in america is known as the rfid chip out there in europe is known as the nfc chip and they're going to use this mark, this implantable microchip, to enslave and control the masses of people. And they're going to do that by way of their new monetary system and their new digital system. Because they're about to do away with cash completely, globally. And that's what we have here in this article. Okay, I've got news here from www.kitco.com. It says, Fed Chair... 80% of global central banks considering digital currencies. Now, as it stands today, October 26, 2020, you, know, you have people out there that are already using digital currency in the form of their uh, credit cards, their debit cards, so on and so forth. But what's about to happen is that they're actually going to completely do away with physical cash, right? Physical cash as you know it. The dollar is going to be done away with the pound sterling is going to be done away with. Out there in China, it's already a cashless society and they've already brought about their digital currency. Okay, So this is where verse 17 comes into play. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, which is the microchip, or the name of the beast, which the beast that the Apostle John you know, saw in this vision was pretty much symbolic for this new revived Roman Empire that has been reborn in the form of NATO, the EU and America, likened unto a beast because this current system that we're living in is not founded upon the laws, statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashmah Shai. Alright, so therefore in the sight of our Lord, 
this world, this system, this rulership that we're under is likened unto a beast without laws. So pretty much we're living in a lawless society governed by the wicked elite of Esau Edom in whom this world has been given into the power of. That's why when you go to the book of Job chapter 9 verse 24, it says what? The earth is given into the hand, meaning the power of the wicked. The wicked being Esau, Edom. Pursuant to Malachi 1 verse 4. But not just any old Edomite out there. The wicked elite of Esau, Edom. Right? The rich men, the central bankers, as it were, that we're going to read about in this article. Okay? And in saying that, that's how we know that really, you know, what's being brought about is the will of Yahweh Bashmael Shai. Okay, because he's given this power unto Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, ultimately to bring about the Lord's agenda. Okay, and that's why the Apostle Tahar, <laughs> that's why Apostle Tahar said through the Spirit that, you know, this mark that is coming is really the mark of our Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashmael Shai. But on the left-hand side, okay, the Lord is using Esau, Edom to bring about this wickedness, if you will, only to destroy him. Remember when we go to the book of Isaiah 45 verse 7, the Lord said, I create light and I create darkness. I make peace and I create evil. Roughly paraphrasing. So we understand that our power, Yahweh Bashmael Shai, is a power of duality. Okay, and right now, Esau is being used on the left-hand side for the spiritual demon Satan to bring about the will of Yahweh Bashmael Shai. Right, to destroy his society, his kingdom and this rulership. Which is but for a moment, you know, when you go to the book of Job, I want to say Job chapter 20 verse 5, where it speaks about how the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment, that hypocrite being Esau, Edom. And that goes together with Revelation 20, you know, where you read about the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, you know, which is all symbolic for Esau, Edom, um, you know, being let loose. You know, to come back on the earth to deceive the nations once again, which he's done, you know, and we're living in that short season, you know, whereby Esau has been ruling for the past 500 years. But now we're living at the end of his rulership. And that's why it says when you go to 2 Ezra 6 verse 9, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Now before Esau's world completely is destroyed, he's going to fulfill the will of our power, Yahweh Bashmael Shai, which is to bring about that implantable microchip. Okay, so verse 17, one more time, it says, And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So this is a new article uh, from www.kitco.com posted by David Lynn, Monday, which is today, October 26, 2020. And he reads on to say, At a panel hosted by the International Monetary Fund earlier this week, Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell said 80% of central banks around the world are exploring the idea of issuing central bank digital currency, CBDC. Although the US Fed has not made a decision to follow suit at this time. And so this is why it says when you go to Habakkuk 2 verse 3, that at the end it shall speak and not lie. Because pursuant to the vision that the Apostle John saw, concerning people receiving this implantable microchip the mark of the beast okay this was actually a global thing we can prove that by going to revelation 3 verse 10 and these are the words of our lord yahweh shai unto the elect of the nation of israel it says because thou hast kept the word of my patience i also will keep thee from the hour of temptation now this hour of temptation is speaking about a period of time where Esau is going to bring about his new world order fully, okay? It's going to be a time like never before, whereby it's going to be impossible to survive in this current world, this current system without having an implantable microchip, right? The mark of the beast. So in that time, it's going to be very tempting to just go along with, you know, the system that Esau has in place, okay? It's going to be very tempting because without the microchip, you're not going to be able to go to school. Without the microchip, you're not going to be able to go to hospital and get treated. Without the microchip, you're not going to be able to go to work. Without the microchip, you're not going to be able to travel. Without the microchip, you're not going to be able to eat or buy or sell, as you just read, okay? 
So in that time, it's going to be extremely tempting to get this chip. That's why it's known as the hour, which is a period of time of temptation. Temptation going into the word test. And that's what it's going to be upon the world, as it's going to say, all right? It says, which shall come upon all the world. And when you go into this word world in the Greek, you find the Greek word oikimeni, which means the inhabitants of the earth. So everyone on the planet is going to be faced with this test, wherever there's an economy, okay? Let's read this paragraph again. It says, at a panel hosted by the International Monetary Fund earlier this week, Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell said that 80% of central banks around the world are exploring the idea of issuing central bank digital currency. Revelation 3 verse 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. So in that time, those of us that have done our Lord's will and endured unto the end, whereby we've done our Lord's will until we can't do it no longer in terms of pushing this word, teaching this truth, doing these lessons. Well, in that time, you have Bashma Shah is going to take over and give us the spirit to resist this society, to resist this system. All right, as it says in the book of Isaiah 10 verse 20 about how the remnant shall no more again stay upon him that smote them. Because in that time, we're going to fully rely upon the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashna Shah to protect us and guide us. All right, as it says in the book of 2nd Ezra 16, I want to say from verse 70 on down about how our Lord will be our guide. Okay, so we don't need to fear. Right now, we just need to do the work and keep serving our power, Yahweh Bashma Shah, in truth and in sincerity. Okay. It says, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. And that's pretty much what we're going into here, right? It says, Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell said that 80% of central banks around the world are exploring the idea of issuing central bank digital currency, although the US Fed has not made a decision to follow suit at this time. Now, the way they're going to bring about this implantable microchip is going to be very crafty, all right? It's not that they're going to, you know, bring about this digital currency and then all of a sudden you have to take a microchip. No. They're going to set certain things up, all right? Certain, uh, how can I put it? Certain decays, if you will, such as what we saw this year with the coronavirus, the COVID-19. They're going to set certain things up to bring about this implantable microchip, all right? It could be another pandemic. It could be a terror attack. But one way or another, they're going to mandate this implantable microchip, okay? And then bringing about this digital system, this cashless society, is only making it easier for Esau, Edom, to bring about that implantable microchip because pretty much with that chip, you can do everything, okay? Your, your, you can do digital banking. Your identification will be on that chip. You'll be able to pay for things on that chip, so on and so forth. Everything is going to be centralized and revolve around that implantable microchip. Right, that's why it says, and he calls if all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now, I'm not going to read this whole article. No, I want to keep this lesson very brief and to the point and concise. What I will do, Lord willing, if I remember, I'll leave the article in the description box so you brothers can read it for yourselves. If you want to do lessons on it, you know, be my guest through the spirit. Um, but that's pretty much the point, you know. As you see in this article, Esau is, you know, definitely bringing about this cashless society, this new uh, global digital system. Let's read it one more time. It says 80% of global central banks considering digital currencies. Now, it also says when we go to 2 Corinthians 2 verse 11, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Now, as I always bring out that word devices in the Greek, is naima, which means an evil purpose or an evil plot, which basically goes into the word conspiracy, as a matter of fact. Uh, let's pull that up real quick. Yep, this is the word conspiracy. It says a secret plan by a group to do something unlawful or harmful. And pretty much right now, Esau, Eden wants to bring about this global agenda, his new old order, that novus order seclorum, and enslave the masses of people, primarily you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, 
with an implantable microchip, thereby making him a god over you, right? Which will only lead to your destruction, pursuant to Revelation 49 and 10, because there's a judgment for those that take that chip. Now, I quoted um, 2 Corinthians, so let me get that real quick, just to, just to prove that point. 2 Corinthians 2, verse 11, it says, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, the us being the hopeful we're let, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And like I said, when you go into this word devices in the Greek, as we always do, you find this Greek word, naima, okay? And naima means what? A mental perception, thought, an evil purpose, that which thinks the mind, thoughts, or purposes. So the main key point here is an evil purpose, which aligns with what we're reading here concerning a conspiracy. It says a secret plan by a group. What group? The secret council of the wicked, pursuant to Psalm 64, verse 1. All right? The bank and elite of Esau, Edom, the Rothschilds, the DuPonts, the Gettys, the Oppenheimers, the Rockefellers, so on and so forth. The shadow government that want to bring about this new world order. Their secret plan is to bring about this new world order, this global reset, the implantable microchip, the mark of the beast. Okay, It says a secret plan by a group to do something unlawful or harmful. And it's unlawful for us Israelites to have anything implanted inside of our bodies. Okay, you can read about that law when you go to the book of Leviticus 19, verse 28. So I want to give all praise, honors, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakai Kodash. Double honors to my elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, and Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakai Kodash Bakatham to the elect of Israel. Shalom.